Tanya Steele of Epicurious.com, and this is Around the World in 80 Dishes. Today we're making crepes from France with Chef Lou Jones from the Culinary Institute of America. Chef, are you ready to cook some crepes up? Yes, sir. All right. So tell me what we do first. Well, we've uh, made our batter, and we now rested it for one hour to relax the gluten. It looks very relaxed to me. Yes, it looks very <laughs> laid back, doesn't it? And uh, we're just going to give it a little stir because there'll have been some settling. I can feel it's tighter on the bottom there because um, the flour tends to sink to the bottom. The water rises from the milk. So we just bring it in to remix it, and there it is. And it should look like the consistency of half and half. I see. Yep. And we've got our pan on, our crepe pan. And there are many different sizes in France and uh, elsewhere of these uh, pans. And they're usually numbered at the top here. This is number 16. Oh. It's a six inch. We have our pan on the heat. We're just uh, waiting for it to get up. Um, we're going to take a little bit of this butter. And if you don't have a, a pastry brush at home, just get some paper towel if you're using this method and just push it around I see. like so. And that uh, puts just the right amount of fat on there. You don't want, uh, you know, you want the, the crepe swimming in this. Remember, there's fat in the batter as well, coming uh, from the cream, okay. which is going to help to stop it sticking. And to, to tell if it's warm enough, how do you? Is there a, some kind of test? Or? Yeah, you could put your hand over. Um, you do want it hot enough to make it bubble. Okay. Because that is going to give us the lacy mm, effect that mm -hmm. we have on it. You see all the little holes? Yes. That's because we got our temperature right and our consistency right. I see. Those two things. Okay. So now we can see a little bit of smoke coming yes. off here. That's a good sign. Okay. So you We're take it off. Take that off. We'll just swirl our batter again. Take about an ounce into the... So when it goes in, you swirl the pan very quickly. I see. Then you don't get uh, one thick area, one thin area, whatever. Okay, you need even coating. And you can see the little holes. Yes. And it seems side. like it's all, only about 10 seconds or 20 seconds, right? Well, yep, for that swirl. Yeah. Yep. And you can see the color coming already on the edge of the pan. Okay. We're almost there. Now, if we look at the crepe, we can see it's starting to brown up on the side here. That's the te uh, telltale sign to lift it up and turn it. Now, you can't flip these pancakes. You can't toss them. Uh, it's not like, uh, when, like you, you can flip American mm -hmm. pancakes. No right. Problem. right, 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 right. So, uh, our crepe is almost finished now. Um, it, it'll have a little bit of color on the, on the other side, and all we've got to do is pick it up and flip it out. Voila. So, mm -hmm. Beautiful. So now we've made our crepes. Now, obviously, you could eat them just like that, and I would happily. Mm -hmm. But what would you fill them with, in, say, in Brittany? What would be a typical thing? Would Calvados well, and Grand uh, and... Even the Bretons use lemon and sugar. Citron et sucre. Oui. And then, yeah, oui. <laughs> <laughs> and then so uh, just squeeze your lemon juice ah. on. Be generous. Uh -huh. Put some sugar. Sprinkle that on. Like so. Put it into a fold. Mm -hmm. And there's a little oh, lemon and sugar. And then, of course, there's the favorite um, uh, modern fillings is um, Nutella and banana. Oh, my yeah. gosh. And in Brittany, wouldn't they have, um, since apples are so ever-present, wouldn't they uh, often do calvados with uh, crepes? Uh, yes, I'm sure they would do some calvados. Some delicious calvados glaze or... Mm -hmm. uh, but the, if you move closer to Paris, of course, then yeah. you're going to see the classic uh, crepes is it. So when you fold a crepe like that, so uh -huh. you, you fold it in half, mm -hmm. and then you just quarter it over again? Yep. Okay. Well, you could do the other, what, which is the, uh, the long version. This is um, uh, sort of in line, if you like. And the Nutella is a little bit cold in the AC here. You actually want it more room temperature to spread it? Uh, it would certainly be a, a little livelier if we weren't in, the, in this cold room. Okay, so now you're folding it over like a tortilla. Let's leave that there. Okay. Beautiful. Can I try? Absolutely, yes. Oh my gosh, okay. Yeah, I'm going to try the... First of all, I've never had lemon and sugar. Oh, uh, it's a good mix. Mmm. Sweet and sour. That is really delicious because it's mm -hmm. very simple and elegant flavor. It's very sprightly. Yeah. Wow. That's pretty good, isn't it? That is fantastic. And the crepes are nice and soft. Mm. Yeah. They are perfection. Yeah. Well, Chef, thank you so much for showing me how to make these crepes from France. My pleasure. I really appreciate it.